Hi, my name is Michael and I'm an education presenter at the Parliament of Western Australia. In our previous video, we learned how to set up a classroom for a role play. Now, with the help of the Year 9 students from Belcatta Senior High School, we'll see how it's done. The role play that they'll be presenting, which is based on a real act of Parliament, is commonly called the Hoons Bill and it focuses on confiscating the vehicles of people who drive dangerously on our roads. And we begin with the Sergeant at Arms leading in the speaker. Honourable Members, the Speaker. A bill for an act to amend the Road Traffic Act 1974 to enable the impounding and confiscation of vehicles in certain circumstances. The Minister for Police and Emergency Services. Madam Speaker, I move that the bill be now read a second time. Madam Speaker, this bill targets those people who threaten other road users by holding drag races and burnout competitions on our streets. These people, commonly known as hoons, not only risk their own lives but also the lives of others. The legislation amends the definition of reckless driving so that driving which exceeds the speed limit by 45 kilometres an hour or more is automatically defined as reckless. Madam Speaker, the bill also introduces circumstances of aggravation which have the effect of increasing the seriousness of an offence. Such circumstances include racing another vehicle, attempting to break a speed record on a public road or doing burnouts. Probationary drivers convicted of aggravated offences will have their licence suspended for three months and must sit the required tests again before regaining their licence. Of particular importance, the bill allows the police to immediately impound an offender's vehicle for 48 hours. For a second offence, the courts can impound vehicles for up to three months. In the case of a driver who has been convicted twice in the previous five years of impounding offences, the vehicle can be confiscated. Responsibility for the costs of impounding and storing vehicles will rest with the offenders. This is a tough but fair legislation. I commend the bill to the House. Yeah. Yeah. Not before time. Yeah. Madam Speaker. The member for Murray Wellington. Madam Speaker, I move that the debate be adjourned. The question is that the debate be adjourned. Those in favour, say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. At this point, the debate adjourns for three weeks to allow all members to understand the detail of the bill. So now, the debate resumes. Madam Speaker. The member for Kareen. Madam Speaker. I would like to ask the Minister why it was necessary to specify 45 kilometres an hour over the posted speed limit as the definition of reckless driving in the legislation. The Road Traffic Act refers to a person who drives a motor vehicle in a manner that includes speed. That could be 10 kilometres an hour above the speed limit. People could argue in court that they were driving 20 kilometres an hour over the limit, but the vehicle and road conditions were good. and. Although they were consciously aware of exceeding the speed limit, it did not constitute reckless driving. However, at 45 kilometres an hour over the limit, we thought it should be a given and the owners should not be on the police to prove that it was also reckless. The legislation is very similar to that in Queensland, where vehicles are impounded for 48 hours, some for three months, and in one case, a vehicle was confiscated indefinitely. This sends a clear, sharp message to the offenders that hoonish behaviour will not be tolerated. I commend the Minister for taking up this initiative. Madam Speaker. The Member for Garraween. Madam Speaker, I welcome this legislation. 95% of road crashes involve driver behaviour as a major contributing factor. Young men between the ages of 17 and 39 account for 61% of all crash deaths and speed is a factor in 35% of all fatal crashes and 57% of motorcycle deaths. Residents of my electorate have complained to me concerning the increase in reckless and dangerous driving in their locality. Letter boxes and walls are being hit and cars are proceeding over curbs and onto lawns that have been carefully manicured. Residents have begged me to see whether the government can control this hooligan behavior. I look forward to these laws radically improving the situation in our suburbs. Madam Speaker. The member for Balajura. Madam Speaker, this legislation is about making youths responsible for their actions. 
these youths are normal children doing stupid things. The problem is that the stupid things they are doing do not just endanger their own lives, they endanger innocent people in the community. At speed meetings in Malaga industrial areas, youths pour oil on the ground before doing burnouts to enhance the smoke effects from their cars. However, when they leave the oil remains on the ground, that is absolutely stupid. These youths must understand that big trucks deliver materials to those industrial areas and could cause a major disaster if they have to break suddenly. I commend the legislation. It is fantastic. It is not before time. The members of my electorate absolutely support it. Madam Speaker. The member for Warren Blackwood. I support the legislation, but let us not get too carried away with it. Although the bill is well-intentioned, there is an element of politics in it. The Labor Party wants to be seen to be tough on crime, but its history does not bear that out. I support the legislation, however I ask members to admit that members of parliament were young once and probably did some of the very things that this bill says we will not tolerate anymore. Never, not on this side of the house. Falling asleep at the wheel is more the government style. The law must be applied in a sensible and practical way and I would like to think the officers in our police force would administer it with common sense. Madam Speaker. The member for Wagen. Madam Speaker, the National Party will support this legislation. However, a couple of issues concern me. One is the cost of impounding, towing and storage. We were told this is to be charged at a flat rate. However, a car might need to be towed 80 kilometres in country areas. Will brackets of cost apply or will it be a going rate? Also, impounding a vehicle following the Hooning incident might provide the police a good opportunity to inspect the vehicle. The kids might have cars souped up should the cost of that inspection be borne by the driver. Madam Speaker. The member for Inaloo. Madam Speaker, I know from past experience as a lawyer that Hoon clients could not care less if they were booked. The first thing they would want to know was for how long they could delay a trial. As a lawyer, I was bound to say that if the offender pleaded not guilty, the trial would be listed for nine months hence. In nine months, the offender would come back with another trick to delay the matter. Perhaps they thought they could keep rolling the consequences of their conduct so far into the future that it would not have an immediate impact on their lives. I applaud the Minister for introducing this legislation. Madam Speaker. The Minister for Police and Emergency Services. Madam Speaker, it is great that the Labour Party, the Liberal Party, the National Party and the Independents have all supported this bill. I think it is a very good legislation and I am hopeful that it will have a very positive impact on the community. We do not want to punish people in the community unreasonably. We want to alter their behaviour. I thank the members for their contributions and all parties and members of the House for their support of this legislation. I move that the bill be now read a second time. The question is that the bill be now read a second time. Those in favour say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. A bill for an act to amend the Road Traffic Act 1974 to enable the impounding and confiscation of vehicles in certain circumstances. Now that you've seen the students present a role play, why not have a go yourself? You can download some really interesting role plays from our website based on actual legislation or you can book a tour and do the role play right here in the Parliament. And one of you will get the chance to play the speaker and sit here. We hope to see you soon.